and here's the full ziggurat by itself in its humongous shape and beauty let's go up super fast <laughs> Is happening everyone welcome back to a brand new episode this time from southern iraq from the great ziggurat of ur near the town of nasiria made it here went all the way from najaf three three and a half hours by car and landed on the ancient lands of mesopotamia i'm gonna turn the camera around a little bit that way you'll witness more of the ziggurat than my face but this is where everything started the ancient city states these are over 6,000 year old structures yes reconditioned but this is where civilization started these were the first places where people gathered and they made an urban city this is where abraham left from the ancient city of ur and went all the way to where nowadays Israel is so yeah a lot of history at every step this is all the way in the southern part of Iraq near Basra a little bit windy here but it's a pleasant 20 21 Celsius but let's go a little bit all the way up to ziggurat and ziggurat by the way is just another word for temple so yeah let's go all the way up and witness the views walking the steps of history this is probably as far as you can go at the moment in order to get a real feeling of how old our mankind is they say the ziggurats of ur and uruk they date from somewhere around 4600 bc before christ so yeah they estimate around 6000 years of history this was a vast city and this was the main temple in the middle of the city according to some historians you know this was one of the main two and then afterwards all the other ziggurats in mesopotamia they took the architecture and they pretty much constructed all the other ziggurats in uh, the shape of the ones that you, you would see at Ur but uh, yeah there were a couple more that we did not visit there were just pretty much one wall or something like that and it was not worth that's why the main one the hardest one to get to is the one in Nasiria modern day Nasiria that is this is how it looks at the top a big mound of rocks dirt yeah I mean not sure if these are you know cuneiform but they're not it just looks like it we also have another archaeologist site all the way in the back hopefully they'll let us in we'll see in a little bit not sure exactly what you're allowed to do in certain spots you just have to go with the flow in many places and here's the full ziggurat by itself in its humongous shape and beauty let's go up super fast So walking down the steps of history this time, I do got a pinpoint while I'm catching my breath after running that the Iraqi people, they're super, super nice. Everywhere we went, besides the airport, that's the only exception, people gave us cash back without even asking the price. You know, we left our luggage 
you know, in one spot, found them there as we found, as we left them. Everyone's greeting us. Everyone's surprised that we're from Romania. So a lot of people think we're from Iran for whatever reason. But yeah, everyone is greeting us. I mean, there's a lot of checkpoints. We got stopped probably 50 times, at least passport controls, passport photos. Again, even for the SIM card, I got fingerprinted, but overall a super experience here in Iraq more structures around the ziggurat trying to find different perspectives for some photos the sun is right above so you don't get the best light for the front of the temple and the wind i mean the wind's a little bit uh, tough you know I haven't felt 28 for a long time and then when you combine it with wind it can get a little bit tough on the skin yeah my skin i don't know if you can tell it's all dried out heading back to the car saying farewell taking a few more photos of the temple here at Ur. a lot of flies realize that the more you go towards the south the more flies you get and all the way in the south near the town of Basra that's where the main oil hub is in Iraq and if you have not seen the previous episodes definitely go and see them but we just put gas in again just the second time we've been on the road for quite a bit five days and gas is 450 Iraqi dinars that's less than half of what a coffee costs here an instant coffee so that's the joke every time we buy something we're calculating how many liters of petrol that will cost us so yeah pretty much one little cup of chai is just as much as one liter of gasoline so yeah it's outrageous the price is flat at 450 you know and the gas being so cheap that's why you see so many heavy cars that's why you see so many powerful american cars here and you know talking about power, the wind is really powerful I'm trying to cover with my hand a little bit for the microphone but anyway yeah let's head over grab a bite to eat fish because we're here near the marshlands where the tigris and euphrates river collide and then we're gonna head over to the marshlands and then the hotel and tomorrow the long way back to Baghdad and the administrative procedures, maybe go to the bazaar and so on. But yeah, we're gonna make a couple more videos just on my thoughts of Iraq. And made it all the way south and we're heading on to the marshlands of Iraq. Hopefully these boats will keep us afloat for a couple of hours but first we're gonna go and try some of the fish here that they catch either on the Euphrates or on the Tigris Officially into the swamps. A whole bunch of boats splashing us on each side. So, yeah, this is like a two lane swamp. And 
here we have is some of the houses so yeah people do live here and the people that live here like i mentioned they're not arabic people at the confluence of the euphrates with the tigris river We're gonna try to go and visit some of these families and just see exactly what the living conditions are here on these uh, islands. So made it to one of the islands that's actually lived, it's occupied by the people. And uh, notice that they're making a whole bunch of cow dew here for fire. They're making them into these round shapes. You can see the handprint on the cow dew and they use them for the fire quite uh, you know disgusting but intriguing at the same time a couple of cows right there and we have a water buffalo here actually a couple of them check this out and more of the structures here so cool. Check out the interior of this guest house, completely made out of straws. We thought it was a mosque first, but it's not. Superb design. And of course the night activities, playing volleyball, hello everyone. Yeah, we're like rock stars here in Iraq. Very few people have seen foreigners, especially Romanians. And finally witnessing a fireball sunset here in Iraq. Check this out. Superb silhouette. So for today's supper we bought some falafel sandwiches and all three of these, if you believe it or not, they cost us just one US dollar. Unbelievable. May go and get three more for that price. But yeah, let's see how it tastes. Our location where we have spent the night in Assyria is located right near the Euphrates River. Morning view with the morning traffic across the bridge. Yeah, I mean besides Ur and the swamplands, the marshlands of the Euphrates and Tigris River, that's pretty much all you can see here near Assyria. You can go to Basra, you can do probably a few more other things, but the main two things are the ones that you have seen so far. Just trying to find some uh, textiles, some shirts you know, that I can wear at the gym to destroy because they actually have some cheap, cheap, cheap ones here, probably for two dollars. And uh, they're actually decent clothing to wear off at the gym. The more you go, the more chaotic it feels, or you just had enough of the chaos here, especially in Baghdad. Everywhere is super, super noisy. And did you think? Iraq did not have moles. Well, think again. More of the nightlife here in Baghdad. I mean, more stuff that you won't see anywhere on TV about Iraq. Superb. It has glamour. It does have culture. It has history. It has good food. It has everything, guys. So don't be fooled by what you see on the media. Definitely come and visit Iraq. And a little bit of the night street food life here in Baghdad. You can find from shawarmas to pastries to Turkish delight to samosas. Anything, anything you can imagine. I mean, this is definitely not what you would expect when you think of Iraq, when you think of Baghdad. Look at that. Everything fresh, everything just one hand length away super glamorous lots of lights yeah the sidewalk may not be the greatest because you trip a lot but 
just like any ordinary city. So that was it from Iraq 7 episodes. If you have not seen the other episodes, head over to the channel from Baghdad all the way down south to the marshlands of Iraq where the Euphrates and the Tigris River meet. It was a fantastic week here in Iraq. Hopefully one day I'll come back and explore more of the country because it does have quite a bit of other stuff left. But yeah, super, super enjoyable. New on the channel. Next, I'm not going to reveal it yet. Most likely is going to be still here in the Middle East. A surprise visit. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more in the following weeks. Gratitude should be the only attitude. Stay humble, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thank you.